Black holes are a scientific mystery. There is so much still to discover. Much of what we know about black holes is a theory or based on observations of objects near or behind a black hole. So a group of physicists from the University of Amsterdam in the Netherlands successfully recreated the conditions at a black hole's event horizon in a lab and observed the equivalent of an elusive form of radiation first theorized by Stephen Hawking, a report from Science Alert explains. If this new finding holds any water, it might pave the way for a whole new theory that unites the tenets of general relativity with quantum mechanics. The black hole event horizon was replicated in the lab by using a line of atoms in a single file. Hawking radiation, which is made up of particles formed as a result of disruptions in quantum fluctuations brought on by the black hole ripping spacetime, gave out a visible glow. Because the concepts of general relativity and quantum physics are so distinct from what we see in the micro, some scientists think Hawking radiation might assist to unify the two. Stephen Hawking's pursuit of a quantum gravity theory that would reconcile the two competing schools of thought and have universal applicability was one of his life's primary goals. No matter or light may leave a black hole until it reaches its event horizon. Beyond that point, we can only speculate, with some ideas claiming that some black holes could really be wormholes leading to previously inaccessible parts of the cosmos. Theorist Stephen Hawking postulated in 1974 that a kind of radiation very comparable to thermal radiation is released when quantum fluctuations near the event horizon are disrupted. The problem, though, is that this radiation is probably much too weak to be detected from Earth. The simulated black hole serves this purpose. Hawking's radiation features were the focus of the study, so the team of scientists set out to replicate it in the lab in order to examine it more closely. Although this isn't the first time scientists have attempted to recreate a black hole in the lab, the Dutch team was the first to see a light in their simulated event horizon under the right circumstances. Electrons may jump from one atom in their one-dimensional chain to the next. They were able to disrupt the electron's wave-like behavior by manipulating the ease with which they could hop, thereby producing an event horizon. Scientists claim this caused a temperature increase in line with theoretical predictions, but only when some of the chain of atoms stretched beyond the event horizon. This leads them to speculate that the entanglement of particles near the event horizon may be the source of Hawking radiation. By providing a new framework for studying Hawking radiation, the researchers have moved the scientific community one step closer to achieving Stephen Hawking's long-held goal of unifying the fields of general relativity and quantum mechanics. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.